gonna let you take it away. It's your show now. Oh, hi, Jambo, Irie, hola, konnichiwa, namaste, bonjour, guten tag, ciao, ni hao, bawoni. My name is Auntie Oni, and I'm from the Story Village, and I'm happy to come to Pod and Play. It's so wonderful to be here with the cool Melly, Melly Mel from Stoop Story Kids and all her friends. My podcast family is called ABF Creative, and we are the home of charm words, African folk tales with Miss Auntie Joe, with Miss Jojo, five minute mysteries, the adventures of Cairo, and Kwanzaa time with Auntie Oni. That's me. Today, I'm going to share with you a song and story of Ubuntu. Can you say Ubuntu? Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a Zulu word from South Africa, and it means I am because we are. That's right. It means that I see you, I see you as a human and not as a plant or a bug or or animal. No. I see you as a human being just like me. And it means that I don't see how fat you are, how skinny you are, how light skinned you are, how dark skinned you are. No. And I don't even see if you're a boy or girl. I see you as a human being just like me. And I'm here because you're here. And what I want to share with you is that when we see each other as humans, we treat each other with care and kindness. That's right. And we treat each other with respect. All right. So here's the song I wrote called Ubuntu. And then after the song, I'm going to tell you the story of Ubuntu. Now, doing the song, you might want to join in and point, or you might want to make a heart. How do you make one of those hearts? Show me. How do you make one of those hearts? With your fingers, you know, how you make the hearts with your fingers like that, right? Well, you're going to take these two fingers and put them underneath your eye and point out. And that's saying, Ubuntu, Ubuntu, I am because we are. Ubuntu, Ubuntu, we are because I am. So if you want to sing along with me in the chorus, feel free. All right. So I'm going to be a DJ too. Check it out. You ready? All right. You can hear the music. All right, here we go. Come on. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. I am because we are. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. We are because I am. In this world together, our human family. To care for one another in peace and harmony. I am your Auntie Tony. You are my special friend. I'm here to tell you a story from beginning to the middle to the end. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. I am because we are. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. We are because I am. Again, Ubuntu, Ubuntu. I am because we are. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. We are because I am. So happy to see you. You bring me so much joy to tell you some stories and hopes that you'll want more. Since we're here together, let's brighten up our day. And you can tell my story in your own special way. Ubuntu, Ubuntu, I am because we are. Ubuntu, Ubuntu, we are because I am. Ubuntu, Ubuntu, I am because we are. Ubuntu, Ubuntu, we are because I am. Love, caring, hope, sharing, and empathy. I see myself in you. Do you see yourself in me? Love, caring, hope, sharing, and empathy. I'm going to tell my stories to you. Are you listening to me? Ubuntu, 
Ubuntu. I am because we are Ubuntu. Ubuntu, we are because I am. Oh, one day, long, long ago, and maybe even today, there was a scientist. He was an anthropologist. Now that's a big word for someone who studies the ways of people. They study their culture and how they live and treat each other. Well, this scientist, he decided he was going to go to South Africa and he was going to study the ways of the people. So he took a plane all the way to England, down, down, down to the east side of Africa. And he went to Johannesburg. When he arrived in Johannesburg, he didn't want to stay in the city. He wanted to go meet the real people who lived in the countryside. So he rented a car and he decided to drive all the way to a little village called Kimberley. Well, he got in his car and he was driving along. And as he looked out the window, he saw a park, a reserve, and all the animals were in the park. What kind of animals do you think he saw? You can put it in the chat. Oh, he saw giraffes. Mm -hmm. He saw elephants. Yes. And he saw lions. And he wondered why were they in that preserve, that reserve? It was because people would come and try to kill them. So they were safe in the reserve. Oh, he continued driving along, driving along until he saw an outdoor market. And the outdoor market was selling fruits and vegetables. Oh, he got out of his car, he went to the outdoor market, and he brought a big basket of mangoes. Do you like mangoes? Oh, I love mangoes. And he filled up the basket with the mangoes, and he ran and he of course, he paid for him, and he ran and he put it in the back of his trunk of his car. And he continued on his journey, driving, driving, driving until he reached the town. When he arrived in the town, he found a school, a primary school. Some of you might call it elementary school. And he went to the elementary school and he knocked on the door. And the secretary, she came to the door. May I help you, sir? Oh, yes, ma'am, yes. <clears throat> I am Mr. Anthropologist, and I am here uh, to conduct an experiment on the ways of your people. Um, in the form of a game, I would love to play with your children. Oh, oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, I will check with my principal and be right back. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Well, the secretary, she went to the principal's office and told her that there was a gentleman there from all the way from America, and he wanted to play a game with the children. Well, Principal Miss Moyo, she came out. She said, uh, may I help you? Um, yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm here to uh, conduct an experiment with your children in, in the form of a game, and I was wondering um, if you would allow me. Well, Miss Moyo. She didn't know this man, so she asked him, may I see your ID, sir? Oh, yes, ma'am, yes, yes. Mm. He took out his ID and his passport, and he showed it to Miss Moyo. Hmm, all right, okay. The children will be out shortly for recess, and at that time, you may play your game with them. Oh, thank you, ma'am, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, Mr. Anthropologist, he ran to his car, he popped open the trunk, and he took out the big basket of mangoes. And he looked, and there it was. Right down the end of the schoolyard was a big baobab tree. And that baobab tree was in bloom, and it was shade, the only shade in the schoolyard. So he ran down to the baobab tree, and he placed the basket of mangoes underneath the baobab tree. Just then, the school bell rang. Bring, 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 bring. Oh, the children came running out. They were so excited. Oh, sir, we're here to play your game. Oh, he ran up to the children at the other end of the schoolyard. Yes, children, yes, yes. Oh, yes, we're ready, sir, we're ready, sir. Oh, they were so excited.
Oh, Mr. Anthropologist said, okay, children, I need you to stand up, line up on each side of me, and we're going to play a game. Do you see that basket underneath the baobab tree? Yes, sir, we see it, yes, yes. Well, that basket is filled up with mangoes. Oh, sweet, yes, sir. Yes, mm -mm. calm down, children, calm down. Now, the first one of you to reach that basket of mango underneath the baobab tree will be able to have the whole basket and all the mangoes in it. Oh, yes. Yes, thank you, sir. Yes, we're ready. We're ready. All right, line up. Children lined up on both sides of Mr. Anthropologist. They were so excited. On your march, get set, go. Oh, they took off running. The older children grabbed the hands of the younger children and they ran and they ran and they ran till they all reached the baobab tree at the very Every same time. Oh, the oldest girl, Umoja, her name means unity. She took a mango out of the basket and she looked at it. It was so juicy and ripe and ready to eat. And she took the mango and she passed it to her friend on the right. And then she picked out another basket, another mango out of the basket. And she passed it to her friend on the left. And they all passed the mangoes around to each other. Oh, the children were so happy. Do you know there was just enough mangoes in that basket for every single child? Isn't that amazing? Well, the children held on to their mango. Mm, they could smell it. It was ready and ripe. Some of the children pulled down the peel of the mango and they peeled down the other end of the mango. They peeled it down and it was all juicy inside and they bit into the mango. Mm. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. The mango juice ran all down their cheeks. They all sat down in a circle around the baobab tree on the grass and they were laughing and giggling and eating their mango. One little boy, he dropped his mango on the ground. He picked it up and he wiped off the dirt and he just kept on eating it and eating it and eating it. Well, you know, you have to eat dirt before you die. <laughs> well, the children were having a great time oh, eating their mangoes and laughing and talking. And suddenly, what is this? What is this? Mr. Anthropologist, he came running down to the circle. What are you doing? What are you doing? Didn't I tell you that whoever reached the mango basket first could have all the mangoes and the basket for themselves? Why are you all eating the mangoes? Oh, he was angry, upset, and the children were afraid. And they looked up at him and they didn't know what to say. Tell him, Moja, a Moja, the oldest girl, she stood up. And she looked Mr. Anthropologist in his eyes. And she said, excuse me, sir, excuse me, but how could only one of us have the basket of mangoes and all the rest would be so sad? We share and we care for one another. It is Ubuntu, it is our way of life. So you see children, Ubuntu, it means to care for each other and to show love with one another. Ubuntu, I am because we are. Ubuntu, Ubuntu, we are because I am. In this world together, our human family, to care for one another in peace and harmony. I am your Auntie Oni, you are my special friend. I'm here to tell you this story from beginning to the middle to the end. Ubuntu, Ubuntu, I am because we are. Come on, Ubuntu, Ubuntu, we are because I am. Ubuntu, Ubuntu, I am because we are. Come on, Ubuntu, Ubuntu, we are because I am. Ubuntu.
into 